can't bind a prop name because it isn't a known property of Node. You may encounter this error when you attempt to bind to a property or attribute of an element, but that property is unknown to Angular. It may be unknown for a variety of reasons. If it's an Angular component, it might be missing the input decorator on the component definition. But if it's a native HTML element, it may be a property that just does not exist. Or, if you happen to be working with custom elements or web components, there may be additional configuration required to bind to custom properties. Let's start with a quick review of how property binding works in Angular. Then we'll examine several reproductions and resolutions for the issue. In an Angular template, we can bind to a property by wrapping it in brackets, then provide an expression on the right side. When the value in the expression changes, the bound property and UI will be updated automatically. In most cases, you'll run into issues with unknown properties when working with your own custom components. In our code, we have an item component with a name property. Then in the app component template, we reference the app item component and attempt to bind to the name property. But currently, Angular tells us it can't bind to name since it isn't a known property of app item. We can address the issue by going back into our item component and adding the input decorator to the name property. The input decorator allows data to be bound or passed in from the outside of the component via the template. In other words, if a property is not specified as an input, it can't be used with brackets for data binding in the template. It's also worth noting that you can pass an argument to the input decorator to change the name of the property. That allows you to use a different name in the template than is used as the property name in the component itself. In addition to your custom components, you might also run into this issue with native HTML elements. With the default configuration, you can only bind to properties that the Angular compiler knows about. When working with native HTML elements, it knows about the properties and attributes from the HTML standard spec. For example, here we have an input element, and we're binding to the value attribute on that element. At this point, there's no error because value is a valid attribute on an input. But if we attempt to bind to an attribute that does not exist, then Angular will throw an error. There's probably not a good reason to bind to a property that does not exist on a native HTML element. However, it is possible to tell Angular to ignore this error within an ng module. Angular core contains a no error schema, which we can add to the schema's array inside an ng module decorator. Notice how the error disappears when we update the schema. But keep in mind, this is generally a technique that you should only use as a last resort, because it will bypass the error altogether, which may lead to uncaught issues and unstable code in the future. Now, one other area you may encounter this error is when working with web components or custom elements. When working with a custom element, it may be perfectly acceptable to bind to a property that Angular does not know about. We can tell Angular to bypass the error in a more conservative way by applying the custom element schema in the ng module. This will tell Angular to bypass the known property error on custom elements like your own Angular components or third-party web components. That allows you to bind to any property on a custom element, but you'll still get errors when attempting to bind to a non-existent property on a native HTML element. Let's go ahead and recap. When you encounter can't bind to prop name since it isn't a known property of Node, You'll first want to verify that the prop name is known to Angular, while native HTML elements should only use properties based on the actual HTML spec. When working with custom elements, you can bypass the error by applying the custom element schema in an ng module. Or as a last resort, you can bypass it altogether with the no error schema. For additional details and examples, check out the property binding guide in the official Angular documentation.